Sugar is a natural sweetener formed by sucrose crystals obtained from sugar cane or sugar beet. Currently, 16 million tons of sugar are consumed each year. Producing such quantities of this delicious flavor is no easy task. Have you ever wondered how sugar is made? We visited a sugar factory to discover how sugar is made from sugar cane. Eighty percent of the world's sugar comes from sugar cane. Sugar cane is grown in tropical climates like Brazil, as well as in some parts of the United States such as Florida, Louisiana, and Texas. Sunny weather is ideal for cultivating sugar cane, which is grown in fields of up to 350,000 square meters. Sugar is produced in the leaves of the sugar cane plant through photosynthesis and stored as a sweet juice in the sugar cane stalks. Once it has fully grown, it is harvested and transported to a sugar factory for processing. A regular lawnmower serves us for work on this scale. Fortunately, they have the most efficient machines on the market. This multi-purpose harvester collects the crop, its rotating blades cut and chop the 3 meter high canes, while the foliage is expelled back to the field. The harvester cuts the upper green leaves of the plants. The robust sugar cane is pushed forward by the knockdown roller and cut above the roots by two large base cutters. The stalks are fed into the casing and cut to a length of 20 centimeters, while the leaves are separated by two blowers. The machine harvests 60,000 square meters of sugar cane in a day. It clears the land for the next harvest and provides free food for the local wildlife. The problem for the workers is that they are in the middle of hurricane season. Strong winds can destroy the crop in one night before the workday ends. They have to sharpen the blades and harvest as much cane as possible. The machine passes over the crops and deposits the pieces of cane into an attached trailer. Each sugar mill collects 3 million tons per year. The harvested sugar cane stalks are mechanically loaded onto trucks and taken to the factories for transformation into sugar. The trucks transport 23,000 kilograms of sugar cane daily to the factory. The American company Sugar Refining Group is headquartered in South Florida. The research and development director oversees the transformation of sugar cane into white and pure sugar. The process begins when they empty the trucks onto a large conveyor belt. The problem is that sucrose concentrates inside the cane logs. The first phase involves chopping the cane into small pieces of about 15 centimeters and then passing them through a series of mills that move the sugary solution in a sugar mill. There are more moving parts than in most industrial facilities. While the mills move forward, water is pumped to extract the maximum sucrose. The resulting mass is full of sucrose but contains rock and mud residues. To remove the dirt, the solution is filtered in a clarifier. Here, the temperature of the mass is raised so that the residues float to the surface, and blades can sweep them away. To remove enzymes and microorganisms, the solution is treated with heat at 110 degrees Celsius. The next challenge is to convert the purified syrup into sugar crystals. The excess water evaporates, and the concentrated liquid is pumped into a crystallization chamber. Small sugar seeds are added, and the sucrose solution adheres to them to create sugar crystals. But these sugar crystals mix with molasses, a product that gives its color to brown sugar and rum. To separate the two products, the sticky solution passes through a centrifuge at 1,200 revolutions per minute. The centrifuge filters the liquid through small holes in its drum, where the larger crystals get trapped. They pump the molasses into 11.4 million liter tanks. Large warehouses are needed to store all this sugar. Two warehouses with a capacity of 163,000 tons of sugar. They produce 40% of the total refined sugar in the United States. When the raw sugar is cleaned and clarified, the final product is ready. 20% of the factory's production corresponds to brown sugar. They produce sugar for any type of use, whether industrial, domestic, for sale, or for restaurants. They package sugar in packets for hotels and restaurants. The ingenious device fills 2,500 packets per minute without spilling a grain. Once in the box, they receive an energetic massage to accommodate them properly. In the end, 
are robotic arm stacks the sugar into 56 box bundles. An automated machine seals the bundles with cellophane, ready to travel around the world. If you want to know how McDonald's burgers are made, you have the link in the description, and in the first comment, give the video a like if you liked it and share it with someone else who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating notifications to keep learning.